Today we're going to be taking a look at three different ways of checking if JavaScript objects are empty. The first way to check if a JavaScript object is empty is by using object.entries. Object.entries is a method that returns an array of the properties of an object. And then we essentially just check the length. And if it equals zero, then the object must be empty. This both works with an array and an empty object. So let me demonstrate. If I run this, we get way one object is empty. If I uncomment this, press save, more, run it again, we don't get anything because it's not empty. If we set this object to an empty array, then we get way one object is empty. The next way is to use object.keys. It works very similar to interest. The difference, as I can see it, is the way that they order the objects. But please correct me if I'm wrong. It's not really relevant for checking if an object is empty, so we're not really going to care about it. But we're again checking the length. If it equals zero, then it must be empty. And I can demonstrate this one as well. Object is empty. If we do this, it's not empty anymore. If it is an empty array, then it's empty. The third way is to use stringify and turning the object into a string and then checking if it equals an empty object or if it's equaling an empty array or if it's just completely empty. And we can test this as well. Way free. Object is empty. We can try testing it with an empty array. There, it's empty. We can even set it to an empty string. And this will actually also say empty. And we can and again uncomment this and we will get nothing because it's not empty. So that was three different ways of checking if JavaScript objects are empty. So hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.